Hey guys, this is System and this is E6. Hope everyone is well having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and jump right back into this pretty cool pack. In between episodes, I did some stuff. Some crafting, some kind of building, some other jazz. We'll kind of see here. Went ahead and uh, dug out this hall. Went ahead and uh, added this feral flare here. This is really easy, right? So go ahead and grab a feral. Not too bad. Good little light source. Actually has a 16 radius. So kind of just sit up there. And lights up the whole area. This spreads out slowly over time, so it's a little weird how it works, but uh, they're really awesome. And so that's cool. Also went ahead and uh, dug out this room here. It's going to be where we put our crate setup today. This is going to be for the ore washing setup. Or I guess, I think it's called ore washing, whatever it is. It's going to be like ore 2.5. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Uh, out here, I went ahead and made a few machines here. So I have the pulverizer, redstone furnace, and the induction smelter. So I just kind of followed these quest lines here. So I went ahead and made the Sterling Generator. Super easy. Not too bad. Got a free energy cell and some cabling from Power. So I've been using those. So that is too bad. Made the pulverizer. I just made the dust. I didn't accept that yet. So let's grab you. And the induction smelter. So that is pretty awesome. Reason I needed these machines. Actually, that is awesome. We just got a resonant integral component. That's funny because it had already given me one of these here. This is the times three one and reinforce. It just makes these faster. So that's going to produce 160 RF now. And this one, I used the Sterling generator over here just because it gave it to us. But we're still going to produce 120 RF there. So that should go a lot faster. But that should speed that up quite a bit. That's a good little reward there. So that is cool. This thing is only used like uh, this here is only used about, uh, I think about 20, not even 20, like 15 maybe of these crystals so far. This is going to last a long time. It's actually pretty crazy. But basically, I need this induction smelter to be able to make us brass. So we'll get into our crate setup today. So let's go ahead and grab that right there. Then I don't think it matters which form the copper's in, but we have copper, right? I have copper here somewhere. Where did I put it in here? I have no idea. Uh, right, right there. There you go. <laughs> and uh, we need to make an ally, right? So we pop that in there. There you go. I think it cares about the zinc. I don't think it cares about the copper. So if we go to brass here, I'll show you here. Check that out. Sweet. Hunt down it for the induction smelter recipe. So the zinc, no matter what, it wants it kind of in the igot. This here doesn't matter. It doesn't care if it's dust or not. So yeah, it's a little weird how it works, but that'll give us a brass so we get to some great stuff. So I've gone ahead and uh, made a lot of the great items, items we need. Everything that did not take brass so far. So I made like these andesite casings. It takes mostly these alloys, uh, making most of the stuff, like these shoots. These iron plates here, you just make a hammer. They have one from the mod, so you can make that one, or you can make the uh, immersive one, which is the one I made. Then just kind of combine them in your inventory, get that done. And I made a bunch of these case fans. These actually took quite a bit of iron and did a whole bunch of other stuff. But what we actually need to create today to kind of get done what we want to get done, I guess, is uh, right over here. We need to get one of these rotational speed controllers. So we need some brass casings. We need uh, one of these precision mechanisms. So this is the thing, right? This is new and just added recently. But basically, you take a gold plate, then you run it into a deployer, then you add a cogwheel, then you add a large cogwheel, then an iron nugget, and you do that five times before you actually get this precision mechanism. So they made a little bit of work there. Uh, then the flywheel, we have to do that. Then we're going to have to do the furnace engine as well as the uh, crushing wheel. So we need to do all that too. So that's kind of the plan of what I'm working towards as well as these brass funnels. I should show you that too, because I did do the crafting on these here. So these uh, polished rose quartz, it's the only thing that wasn't just like crafting, right? You take some paper, right? You make one of these of paper. Uh, I think it's called sandpaper, yeah. Put one in, uh, in your offhand. So you put that in your offhand, then the rose quartz in your main hand, then just right click and then it combines and you get this uh, polished rose quartz here. So that's the thing. You can also do it with the deployer, but uh, we didn't do that. So that's the thing. <laughs> also, I had to go ahead and get some kelp. So kelp was another thing I needed. I can't even remember where I put it. Might be still in the furnaces here. Here, right there. There you go. Had to go out to the ocean and just get some of that real quick because we're going to need that for mechanical belts or something like that. So the first thing we're going to do here, well, that's uh, making the... What is that making there? That's making the brass. We're going to go ahead and make one of these. We're going to need a heat pipe today. It's going to be one of the items we need. So I have five blocks of iron in my inventory, a TNT, and a piece of lever. A piece of lever. I don't know what that means. Let's jump down here. Here you go. Sweet. And then we're going to go ahead and blow up this iron because that is kind of the mechanic from mechanism and uh, how you actually make your initial compressed iron. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Do this right here. Uh, maybe a little further back. 
<laughs> yep. Awesome. Took a little bit of damage. You may have noticed too that uh, uh, I squeaked. It was from this here. The actual slippers make me sound like a bunny when I take damage. But anyway, you notice too, I put down five blocks. I only got four back. That is normal. You get some loss. Sometimes you only get three. Uh, sometimes you only get two. I was hoping RNG would at least get three, but we got the three we needed. So that is pretty awesome. But this heat pipe is pretty cool. It's going to make it so we can automate the furnace engine, which is going to be our rotational force with rate and uh, generate all the power for us. So that is awesome. Oh, we got some cured rubber too. So that's cool. Uh, what do we need here? I need, uh, I think it's all in here. Let's go ahead and grab, what are they called there? Heat pipe. Go ahead and grab them. Sweet. We only need one of these. We're going to get more than one. So that's cool. Do that. We're going to get six. That's cool. And uh, with these, since we have them, uh, this is cool here. That's cool there. Let's go ahead and actually break that temporarily. Let's do this. We can actually kind of power these for free now. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's do this. Grab the heat pipes. Put them down like right there. We need to keep one of them for the other setup. So we'll do that. I haven't actually made campfires yet. I was going to and didn't get to it. Let's grab a campfire. Uh, maybe again. Maybe a campfire. <laughs> Sweet, let's grab uh, some of them. I don't have any logs, man. Everything's wrong. Let's do that. Sweet, maybe finally some campfires. Yes, we need five of those. That looks good. Then you're gonna put those under the heat pipes, right? So you just do something like this here. Awesome. And you look at the heat pipes, the temperature is going up. When that temperature gets 100, it can actually automatically kind of replace the cool in a furnace, right? So you don't have to worry about the cool anymore, right? So we had uh, some of this, right? So I was smelting this, so I'll do that and that. And what was I doing over here? Probably this one. <laughs> Sweet. Let's do that and that. And once these hit 100, which shouldn't take too long, these should all turn on and start just automatically smelting. So it's basically free powered furnaces, which is not too bad at all. And uh, just pretty neat. It's a pretty cool mechanic, right? So there you go. It's going to turn on. It's going to start smelting. And that's going to be effectively the mechanic that's going to make it so our blast furnace runs for free. We don't have to worry about it. Every once in a while, you have to relight these campfires. You do it this way. You use lava too, but in time it'll turn into stone anyway. It's just part of the mechanic with uh, pneumatic graph. So that's pretty cool. So I've gone ahead and uh, finished up the fracturing that we need for today. So that's pretty awesome. So I made some brass funnels, some tribute filters, 21 crafters, and I uh, just grabbed some other stuff here. We're going to use it a second. Actually, I need some of those case fans too. So let's grab a four of those because we're going to set up 21 of these crafters here. And I think we need four to power it. So that's going to be what we do there. But basically this is going to be used to make our crushing wheel, our furnace engine, and our flywheel. So it's kind of a whole thing in itself. So let's go ahead and uh, set it up here. Let's do that. I want to make sure these are aimed in the right direction off the hop. So this is going to be our central point. This could be where our craft finishes at. So that's why I'm doing that. Oh, I thought that was going to automatically connect for me. It's not at all. Let's do this. Let's do that. I need them all to go to the central point, basically. And, uh, they're going the opposite direction. Maybe I should have did this a little differently. But either way, I can fix it real quick. There you go. It's not how I remembered how it worked. I thought they automatically, if you set the point, they automatically started going to it instead of uh, <laughs> like this. Anyway, that's good there. Go ahead and uh, put these three here and these three here. It's going to be kind of the shape you want, right? So this is the shape of the crushing wheel recipe. So let's go ahead and do that there. And that's the setup, right? So that's how that works there. Now, the next thing we need to do is power this with uh, rotational force, right? So... We're going to use these in case fans in lava. Basically, is how we're going to do it. Hopefully, I don't burn any of these either. <laughs> but uh, if I have to craft more, it's not that big a deal. Do that. Sweet. We won't need these uh, crafters probably very much in the pack, but uh, we definitely need them right now. Uh, this tank, too, it's the mechanism one. So super easy to make, but you can hold shift and scroll wheel, and it goes into bucket mode, right? So when it's on, it flashes on the screen way too fast, too. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times to make sure you know which mode you're on. But you can hold shift and right click and then put buckets of liquids down or you can pick them back up as well just by right clicking which is pretty awesome but we can take these fans now put them on top there you go we're gonna have to spin those around because they're going the wrong way i think we have to hit them from the side too for this to work properly i'll actually it'd be like this right so it'll be like this i think we'll rotate these uh, that's the bottom we want it this way here this is the side the actual power the rotational force will come out so that's cool then we'll need a couple of levers here. So let's do one here and one here. That should power all four. So if I do that and that, they're all gonna start spinning. So they're getting force now. We basically need to get the force over here somewhere and power this thing. So 
What I've done is gone ahead and grab some of these chain drives. So do this here, do that. We're gonna go ahead and turn those sideways. So they're all kind of moving together, right? So they're kind of all combined force. And then we'll probably just use gearboxes. I may need more than two though. I don't know why I only grab two. Go ahead and uh, grab some more here. Sweet. And then kind of do it really jank because I just need this work. <laughs> Basically is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, we'll need one vertical. Let's do that right here. That's good. Awesome. And then I guess we could just bring it across, right? I need the gear to go uh, maybe like right here. That should work. Yeah, if I do it like that, I can just do uh, straight gearboxes. Like I said, I'm doing a real jank right now. But I'm not too concerned. I just need it to work. Oh, why am I doing too? That's not going to work at all. That's not going to work at all, system. Let's rotate this. There you go. Then we'll bring it... Uh, actually, that turns it to the different kind of gearbox. I just messed that up. Let's try this here. It needs to be a vertical. So let's do that. I want the force to come out this side, I suppose. Then we'll just bring it like this. This will work. There you go. Then we'll put that gear right there. It's going to connect to these gears on the side. And then these things start running. And this thing's ready to go, right? So the crushing wheel recipe is right here. This is what we need to get up there. So it looks like any kind of planks, stone, and then andesite. And we're good to go there. So let's go grab our stuff and things here. I can't remember where I put the andesite stuff. Hopefully we have it around here somewhere. Uh, I can't. Oh, there it is there. That's good. Then we need some kind of planks as well. So let's grab something it'll definitely like. So that. And then I have a couple stone on me. So that should be good. We only need to do this recipe once, basically. So let's go do you. Go ahead and uh, bring this ram. Piece of something like this here. Just all along the outside. Sweet. And that there. And then it should be just four planks, right? So let's do this here, this here, this here, this here. You can see here it changed. So it should be recognizing the recipe, right? There you go. I don't know why it took so long to start, but everything will slowly move towards the center and down to this point here, as long as you have everything lined up correctly and everything's working, right? So it's going ever so slowly. I, I don't know if you could speed this up either. I assume you can't because it's a multi-block, but maybe you could. <laughs> maybe it'll only speed up one block of it. Anyway, it'll uh, slowly in time form into the actual thing we need, which is pretty awesome then I guess soon we'll be able to actually go do our ore washing setup. Uh, I'm not going to stare at that for the entire time, though. Uh, we have some brass here, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. This here, because we actually have uh, two more recipes to do, so let's get them all done. There you go. Sweet. This is uh, still trucking. It's doing its thing. I need to make some of these as well, so let's go ahead and grab them. There you go. Probably not that many. Uh, I thought this was the recipe. We'll look at that in a second. There's like little plug things you can make. Because otherwise you have to change the shape of it. I just want to make sure this is going to work here. Yeah, it's these things. Oh, it takes three per. Okay, that'll that'll be fine. Go ahead and get that done. But you can plug the spots because these other recipes aren't the same shape, right? And uh, we need to make it so it'll actually work. And uh, looks like it's going to be done in a second. <laughs> it's doing the final recipe. And uh, it's really cool how it works. It's a really cool mechanic. But we're really underpowering it too. So it is a little starved. There you go. Cool. Can I have it? Awesome. So we've got our crushing wheels. So that is cool. So let's go ahead and uh, drop them off. Now I want to go ahead and make some of those plugs here, but I don't know how many of them we need. Let's go ahead and grab you. Oh, it's uh, nuggets, right? So this here. Let's grab that. Sweet. There's 10 of them. And then look at the recipe we actually need to do. So we need the flywheel. So flywheel is super easy. Uh, I'll need uh, these two casings and that. So let's go ahead and do... Where would I put that on here to kind of do it properly? If I go back to the uh, flywheel, just like that, right? So maybe something like this. Awesome. And then we could do that. Then I think we could plug up the rest. I think this is how that, so this works. I've never actually done this. Someone told me that is how it works. And uh, we'll see if they are right. <laughs> do that there. Guess we just need uh, two more of those recipes there. Sweet and sweet. I've never seen anyone use these at all. So I was kind of interested about them. Do that there, because usually I just break the crafters and just set it up differently. But I guess it doesn't matter too much. It does work. Yeah, I think it's going to start moving, right? As long as it starts moving, it's working. It made the change. Okay, so that totally works. That's actually pretty neat how that works there. I guess it's going to move all funky, though. <laughs> just because of the way it's done, right? So it's going to take that one down now, or are these ones going to come down now? 
Okay, cool. So that'll handle that. We'll get our flywheel, and then I guess I just need to do my furnace engine as well. Then we're ready to move on to the next part. Okay, now that we have uh, all those components done, we need to go ahead and make the last one here. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a depot. That's good there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up this now, the deployer. This is for the precision mechanism. So we're gonna get this done. Should not be too bad. Oh, we need a hopper as well, which I believe I made already. Let's grab that. And did we need uh, one gold right there. And we just go ahead and turn that into a plate real quick, just like that. Sweet, and then this should be pretty much ready to go. We just need to move the rotational force up, right? Uh, I guess I could just use these gearboxes. Let's do two up ones. Let's do that right there. That looks good. Could have used the chain drives too, I guess, but this is fine. Do that and that. That should start poking. So this thing just uh, pokes things. <laughs> it's a little strange how it works, but uh, it does what it does. And basically we can just hop her into it, I believe. I think that's how it works anyway. And then, yeah, we just go ahead and take the plate, right? Where's the plate? We put it down here, right? It's ready to be poked now. And what's the order? I forget what the order is. Uh, it is right here, right? So small, small cog, big cog, nugget. <laughs> you have eight of these, right? Seven, eight, that's good. Small cog, I have more big cogs too. I set all these things apart too, didn't I? Yeah, I already had them all split up. Let's do that and nugget right so let's do that let's actually get them on our bar just like so and you could automate this from one to the next to the next but you don't need to basically that's what i'm trying to show you here but i could just do that this and then that and that should be smart <laughs> there you go and you see there it's already changed and it's going to go ahead and do it again it's going to add that to it boom and after the first cycle i'll kind of see show you what happens here apparently by default with rate this has a 20 percent chain uh i guess fail rate <laughs> but they made it so the packet doesn't have a fail rate so that is actually pretty cool so that's actually like the first three steps there you can actually pull it off you'll notice here it says progress 3 of 15 so it's still waiting for more stuff right so you need to do the whole thing before it'll kind of move forward so you just kind of keep adding it and when you're done you're done it'll be all finished up ready to go and uh all sequentially crafted so really weird mechanic wouldn't be too hard to autocraft to be honest honestly you could kind of just loop it around um i actually i don't know how you'd uh, i guess you'd filter it actually it would take really weird filtering now i think of it huh automating this i'm gonna have to do it in the future automating this because it would be strange and okay i think i finally have everything we need here so let's go ahead and actually set up the uh ore washing right so i made this here the rotational speed controller that is why we needed the uh precision mechanism so that is cool and now we're going to set it up in this room, like I said. So let's head over here. The actual, um, I guess, furnace is going to sit over here, right? So it will sit just about here. There's going to be a little kind of display window because in time I want to have it kind of behind glass and stuff. Actually, it's going to have to go one more back too. So let's do that. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the, uh, what is there? The actual furnace engine and the flywheel. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop that right there. Then two spaces away, we'll put down the flywheel, and that'll automatically connect just like that, which is the way we want it. Then I guess we want a large cog next, right? So let's go ahead and grab one of them. Go ahead and do that. Then we put this right here. That's cool. For right now, I'm going to break that, but this is going to be where the rotational speed controller sits, and that's going to multi-block with that. So that's awesome. So that's kind of the multi-block for that. Then we're going to have to power this thing. Uh, I didn't actually grab my heat pipe, so let's go grab that really quickly and get the rest of this done oh i need campfire too actually uh, my campfires they're all gone because when you break campfires they do campfire things unless i have any left i don't <laughs> let's go get a heat pipe and then a campy fire right so camp fire i probably don't have any wood in here do i nope of course not let's go ahead and uh, hunt down stuff we need some sticks and some planks let's go ahead and hunt them down i need to get uh, refined storage going really badly <laughs> But uh, we'll probably do that uh, next video. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a couple planks as well. I should say logs. There you go. Get ourselves a campfire. And get this automated just like this here, right? So it's the same setup. This thing just has a little glitch with it. That makes this work, right? Usually you would use a furnace to do this. I'd use something like an immersive. But we get like double the rotational force out of this doing it this way. So I wanted to do it this way. It's kind of a abusable glitch that I'm going to abuse. So let's go ahead and do that right there. 
go ahead and grab a heat pipe, pump that right there. And that's going to heat up to 100 again. That's going to be able to automate this. But for some reason, when you put a piece of stone in here, right? So wait till that gets up here. It'll get up to 100. And you'll see it doesn't stop. <laughs> it doesn't stop at all. So it goes up. It does its thing. It finishes off trying to smelt it. And then it just sits there because it does not know what to do with stone. So it works. So that's cool. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and do this here. We're going to have to run the rotational force out of here. So we'll go down like three. Go ahead and uh, head this way. Awesome. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and run all of the piping out this way, which is cool. Actually, you may drop that one more, actually. Let's do this here. Sweet. Then we'll need a vertical. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Pop that here. I guess it doesn't matter which way this face is, right? So let's do that. Then we'll go ahead and grab some shafts. Once we get this wired up too, because we have that other thing there now, the rotational force, we can make this thing really fast. Why you why 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 you do that? Why you do the things you're doing? That's good there. <laughs> let's pull it out this way. And we should be able to just go there. Then we're gonna want to pull it in our direction now, I suppose. So we'll go this way. And we're gonna pull it out here. Now from here, I guess we would have, um, I guess, more setup. <laughs> right, let's think about this. Let's bring it out this way. Just like so. Awesome. Then from here, we'd want to probably block this off. And then we'd want to have a chest. So let's grab some chests here. There we go. This will be the feeder chest. This actually may end up a chute for right now that I think of it. And that's the reason I made the chutes. I kind of forgot about that. Let's do this. There you go. We'll have a chute going to the conveyors right so i have conveyors going across here the mechanical belts right and then i guess i'll feed it from the top for now later on we could use refined storage but just so i can feed it we'll have it this way so let's go ahead and do that do that there that's good awesome and then i guess from here then that means i need to start the conveyor system so let's do this let's do this here let's do that let's go ahead and grab some in case uh Fans? What are these? They're not a case fans at all system. What is this called? Actually, let's bring this across first to make more sense if I do it this way. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, what do I need from here? It'd be here, here. Then the wheels would sit here, right? Yes, the wheels would sit here. So we'd want uh, those uh, chain belt thingies. Yeah, case chain drives. Let's do this here. That is lava. Let's not do that. That isn't very helpful. Let's break you. Let's break you. <laughs> we have to be a little careful with the uh the only part we have to be careful with i should say is the crushing wheels because they have to rotate in the opposite directions basically so let's do that that this this that looks good then this then one of them's gonna have to spin the other way i just don't know which side i guess it does matter we could switch it actually um let's get a uh where's that a gearbox just so i know one's spinning the opposite direction let's do that right there and then we'll want to make sure it's this way so we can run a shaft off this later on. Then we'll do that. They're going to run the crushing wheels flat, right? So my idea of this is like this. Oh, that's actually spinning the right way. <laughs> this might actually be right. Oh, they are. They're running inwards, and that's what you want. That way it's going to drop out of a chute, go onto a conveyor, and to get crushed. And actually, now I see this, this whole thing's wrong. Because later on, when I switch it to the other setup, there won't be room. So let me actually move this one more forward. So be like that right there. Then I just need to get everything else in place here. Uh, hopefully it'll make sense here in a second. I know I'm kind of, you know, uh, babbling about it. But at the same time, it'll make sense, I guess, when it's done. Let's do that. There you go. Do this, this, and that. Then this one needs to be rotated, right? There you go. You got your rotation. Then I guess that and uh, this here. There you go. That's the way we had it before. That would be perfect. That and that. Because later on, we'll have a chest here, and I'll have a funnel on it. And that funnel is going to feed the items, but the funnel is going to take up a space, right? So I need to have it uh, properly spaced. Anyway, that's good there, and uh, that's fine. Next thing we need to do is start working on the conveyor that's going to come off this, right? So we'll go from there. There'll be another one here. Uh, this one back here is mostly for future-proofing, but uh, we'll kind of do it like that right there. And then we'll have another one right down here. Awesome. And then there's going to be one more, but I don't know where it's going to go yet. So I'll just kind of set this down, then we'll change it. But basically, you just click on one, click on the next, and that go up to 20 blocks away. But now we have a big, long mechanical belt there, which is awesome. From here, we would want to... So what this is going to do, it's going to take our chunks, right? It's going to grind it down, 
It's going to double them up. It's going to turn into a form that can be washed, right? So we're going to have, I guess, a chest right about here. Yes, that looks good. And from there, we would have a funnel. These funnels could be filtered, which is one of the joys of them. So we'd have a funnel, uh, hopefully, right here. Then another funnel here. That looks good. So it'll get pulled in. We can put in the, uh, the funnel, put it in the chest. Then the chest will go export automatically onto this here, which we can filter, right? So that's kind of the idea. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this here as we ride on conveyors <laughs> for no reason. I guess we go this way too. Awesome. Cool. And we did get all our case fans here uh, set up. Case fans are going to what actually kind of cools it down and do the washing. It basically blows water at the... Oh, I don't want that going that way. If you hold shift, it places it backwards, by the way. But uh, it's going to blow water <laughs> at the actual um, crushed down version. It's like... I forget what it's called. We'll see it here in a couple minutes. Crush something or other that comes out of this after it gets crushed that it then has to wash, <laughs> right? And then once that's done, it blows water at it. That technically, I guess, washes it, quote unquote. And then you get your doubling up from there. Uh, can I just get the spin the right way? There we go. Let's get you out of there. That's good. Go ahead and uh, get this out of here. Awesome. We need to get rotational force into the uh, back of these. So let's go actually grab some more chain drives. Just do something like this here. That looks good. Then we just rotate all these. So that's good. I love these chain drives now that I learned about these. I was using gearboxes for like everything. <laughs> I know you could use the mechanical belts too, right? But I prefer these because you can actually, the best part is this, just being able to change one at the end, do you know what I mean? Or one at a different part uh, going in a different direction is amazing. Anyway, that's good there. Then we'll need a shaft probably right here. So we're going to break that belt. Let's do that. Grab that. Then we're going to go ahead and do this. Then we'll have uh, we have shafts coming off the sides of these. So that, that, there you go. I'll probably have to switch the rotation on one of these sides. I'm not sure which one. I have to dig into here real quick. There we go. We'll take a chain drive, bring it up here and here. Go ahead and rotate that. Rotate that. That'll spin that side. Then we do the same thing on the other side. So it's kind of like that and that. Then we just do this and this, then rotate those puppies. That should be good there. And we'll get this hooked up again and see which one I have to add a gearbox to. Uh, the gearbox just basically flips the rotation is basically what that does. So it's one of the benefits of them. So there we go. Which one's blowing the wrong way? Oh, they're all going this way. So this side needs to be flipped. So I basically just need to add a gearbox rated to here. And uh, that should fix that. So let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. There you go. They're blowing into the center, which is fine. You don't need to do this two sides either. It just makes it faster. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I guess we're pretty much done. So what we would do at this point, I guess, is add a collection chest, which will end up getting piped into a wall of um, compacting doors because our output's going to actually be nuggets, right? So we need to be able to turn those into blocks. So that's a thing. But that should work there. Then we have a whole bunch of casings. I'm going to probably add more casings too. But uh, we need to be able to seat water on top of these blocks. So let's do that. Plus I can cover that and cover that. And block water here and block water here. And probably block water here and block water here. Right? So that should be good. And the last thing I guess I need to do is... Uh, last thing would be... Uh, I need gates. I didn't grab gates, did I? Let's go grab some gates real quick. Because <laughs> uh, I think that's the last component we need to get this working, other than filtering. So that is actually awesome. I actually have everything I need for gates too. So let's actually grab some. Sweet. And sweet. And we need three of them. So let's do that there. The funnels will block two of the sources of the water, uh, just because they're like half blocks. So it still lets the air blow through them. So they're like not solid blocks. It still works there. But uh, yeah, let's do that. This, this, and this is just so it won't end up waterlogged, because <laughs> otherwise that's a problem. Oh, that probably got picked up, didn't it? Yeah, right there. Let's go ahead and uh, pop you right there. That looks good. Then we can go ahead and throw our water in place. So let's go ahead and grab that. Do this here. That looks good. This as well. You notice that the particles change the way they look. And this should be working. Let's actually make this faster too. 
Uh, you can basically go to this thing, and this is the whole point of this thing, is then just scroll wheel up, <laughs> go up to max speed. If it uh, is using too much rotational force, then it'll be, uh, it'll say overstressed and won't work anymore, but this is working fine. Everything's moving super fast, and we should be able to basically grab a iron chunk. I need to get one of them done anyway. It should be getting round down, I think, if that actually worked. There's no way that went that... Did it go that fast? I guess one goes that fast. When it's a stack, it goes slower. But we can use this to do our filtering. Now, these attribute filters are a little strange, right? So they have this kind of weird interface. But if you put it here, you see here, they have different things you can kind of add there. Is smelted and blast furnace, all this stuff. All I care about is can be washed. So I'm going to hit here. There you go. It's only going to allow things that can be washed. Go through it on this one, which is cool. Then the second one, I guess. Do I have them both set that way? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I need to fix this one. I want this one on a deny list, basically. So anything that can be washed can't go through this one, but uh, can be allowed to go through this one. And that should actually automate this, and we don't have to worry about any leakage, basically. So if I go ahead and take iron now, throw it here, it's going to get ground down. You can see the particles there. Then when it's done, whenever it's done, you're going to see... A whole bunch of things come through here. You see they're on the conveyor right now. It's getting blown at <laughs> with the air from the water. I guess that's technically washing it. When it's done, it comes through here as nuggets. So that is kind of like the whole process. The problem is that is why I need the filter too, right? So we're going to have a byproduct of cobblestone and maybe some other stuff from the other chunks as well, which I'll have to filter out. I may just pump that stuff into a trash can. But for right now... That is pretty much the full automation, and it's already totally full because it's nuggets, but I can deal with that. So I think I'm going to go ahead, uh, I need a whole bunch of uh, compacting drawers, and then I'll probably run it into this wall here, and then we're pretty much done for now. So really cool. Actually really happy about that. And in time, I'll probably cover it up so it's only showing these three blocks here, so like these three, and all this will be covered, all this will be covered, and this center part will all be glass. So it'll be just a nice, cool little kind of feature in the room. So I really, I really like this. It's actually pretty sweet. It's pretty much the way I did it in my Twitch world. I just tweaked it and made it better. <laughs> and this, like I said, will get turned to a, uh, probably just a chest and a funnel. So later on, when I have refined storage, I can pump it straight into the chest and then brought, uh, brought through that way. Anyway, that's good. And, uh, I'll get that wall done. So I've gone ahead and got this hooked up to a drawwall, which is uh, not too bad. I'm just kind of filtering it manually right now. So as they come to the chest here, I'm just uh, filtering them out because I wanted to make sure I kind of catch everything and make sure everything's kind of organized. Like that osmium. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Awesome. And uh, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's working really good, actually. It works pretty fast. For something that takes no power, it's uh, actually quite quick. <laughs> it's not too bad at all, and it's pretty sweet. Like, look at that, man. Actually, the extraction's too slow. I guess that's one of the problems there. We may have to uh, speed up the... Watch we call it right there. What is that called? The input thingy. Let's, do, let's fix this. Let's go ahead and do that here. The ticks operation. That's what we want. Let's turn that down to, like, one. There you go. And then it shouldn't wait as long in between kind of moves, right? Maybe? Oh, it's backed up with stuff it doesn't know how to put in there right now. But once I do that, that should be a lot better. Do that there. Cool. Yeah, there we go. That's way better. Uh, zinc doesn't have a space yet. But yeah, this is working. It's working fine. We'll have everything in ingot form, block form, and nugget form. Won't have to worry about that. I only usually use compacted drawers like this in easy packs anyway, just because it could be, uh, you can have issues with uh, heavy crafting, I guess, when you use uh, compacted drawers. It can be a little sketchy sometimes. But anyway, this works. It's awesome. And uh, it's definitely doing its thing. So really happy about this i think it turned out really well and uh it's gonna look really good when it's done as well so really really cool one thing i'm going to do in between episodes too i'll show you real quick i'll head over there uh we're gonna go over to our i have a place in the ocean where i have a uh one of these here a waystone one of these towers right and there is a water monument over there i'm actually going to take a builder over there and probably one of the lapidaries i'm going to mine that entire thing because i want to build out those blocks so that's mine i'm going to take it I'm going to own that, so I'm definitely going to do that. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for now. The only other thing I probably have to do is uh, go ahead and uh, make sure nothing else comes in as a byproduct other than cobblestone. But uh, I could deal with the cobblestone really easy. I just need to do it. But, yeah, definitely a thing. It's the only thing that's coming in so far. 
If so, I can either send it to a trash can. I may have to do that like right here or maybe right down there. Or because I can't do it beneath because of the mechanical belt. Or I could do it above. I guess I could bring it above and uh, move it somewhere that way. But either way, it'll get dealt with and uh, be all cleaned up. And I'm actually quite happy with this. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much uh, wrap this one up here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. When you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.